Hey everybody, we're taking a look at Titan Pad right now. Titan Pad is a clone of Etherpad. Etherpad was a great tool that would allow you to collaborate and write with others in real time. It was bought out by Google back in the day and they folded it all, most of it, into Google Docs. Uh, a couple of things that they did not include are some of the reasons why a lot of people stick to uh, Etherpad clones like Titan Pad. Um, so if you go to titanpad.com, uh, like I said, there's a bunch of different clones out there. This is one of the ones that I use frequently. Uh, here's an example of why. So if you sign in, you can create a series of pads, all that you host. Um, well, they're hosted by Titan Pad, but basically you control all of them. Uh, so I've been using them for uh, rundowns for shows or for collaborative note pieces. One of the reasons why I like Titan Pad as opposed to Google Docs is because if there's different people in, they uh, their text that they add shows up in different colors. Uh, so that's really helpful to figure out if there's different people that say uh, different elements. Uh, the way that you find out is when other people are in, their names will be listed here, and they can include different colors, so you can quickly see who said what. Uh, there's also a chat room here, so I can see you know what people have said over time. So I can have this long list of text here of notes and links. And then here I can have a chat room with materials that are a bit aside and a bit apart from the dialogue that we're having out here. Uh, and then one of the last cool pieces about uh, TitanPad and other Etherpad clones is this time slider. Um, so what I can do is I can go back and look at the history of the document over time and see who added what, where it was added, and stuff like that. Um, so that's TitanPad. It's free. Um, there are. It's a pretty powerful tool. One of the issues that you have to look out for is that over time, because it is free, sometimes they'll uh, delete your pieces. So you might have to go back in and uh, save it and document it. Um, but for stuff that you really want to make sure you save, you would use Word or Google Docs or some other tool. So that's an overview of TitanPad.